Hi everyone, my name is Mark Kennedy and I'm a partner at Mazars and I'm delighted to have the opportunity to speak to you today about our C-Suite survey. The C-Suite survey is a survey that we take each year to understand what are the issues that are facing the leading executives in the world. So at the end of 2021, we ran our annual survey and got feedback from over a thousand executives representing the largest companies in the world on the issues that they feel are relevant to their businesses in 2022. There are four key messages emerging from this year's survey. The first is a sense of renewed confidence. Many businesses have emerged from the pandemic enthusiastic about growth and looking to reinvest. So that's a very positive starting point to the year. The second is around technology, where many businesses have embraced new technology and new ways of working and realize that transforming their business is key to their success in the future. The third is around people, and there's probably two sub-themes there. One is a shortage of resource globally, so it's harder to get people that are qualified and able to work in the way that we want going forward. And the second is there's a sense of a new mandate for leadership. So many businesses are looking at bringing a new generation through. And the last is sustainability. And obviously ESG is a key talking point and key area of investment for many, many businesses. And what we found in our survey is that a lot of leaders are looking at the how now. They've made the decision to invest in ESG, but they are now looking at the practical ways they can implement that. Of course, we're now six months into 2022 and the world has evolved in a significantly different way than we expected at the end of 2021. We have a war in Europe, which nobody anticipated. We've seen inflation move from a regional issue to a global issue, and that's putting a lot of pressure on many businesses around the world. We continue to see issues around human resources. So the, the shortage that I referred to earlier is something, again, that businesses are battling with at present. And we're also seeing a continuation of supply chain difficulties, which emerged during the pandemic. And that's probably been exacerbated by the global geopolitical situation. So instead of embracing a period of growth, while the markets continue to grow quite strongly, many businesses are having to draw on resilience that they've built up over the last number of years and facing challenges that perhaps they had hoped were behind them.